bit a quick one. So what is this? Eh? It's just, you know, uh, hydrochloric acid, prepare. Ma. So you have the HCl, you heat up the HCl, it's all hot. And then you add in the, the magnesium carbonate, okay? MgCO3. So you heat up and then you add, add it until it does not dissolve anymore. Uh, does not dissolve anymore. Uh, so excess, ma, okay? Add until excess. So this one becomes Mg magnesium chloride, okay? So this to ensure all the acid, ensure all the acid has to reacted completely, okay? Uh, all the HCl, because you're adding excess, you're adding uh, excess of magnesium carbonate. So when you add excess of magnesium carbonate, you want the other one to be uh, uh, completely reacted. Mm. So HCl is completely reacted and becomes our, this one, our Mg, MgCl2. Okay, so it's to ensure all the hydrochloric acid has completely reacted. Okay, or react, yeah, okay. Then after that, you filter, uh, recap, uh, so revision is good. So recap, okay, you filter, and then you have this, you remove the, so they ask, uh, how, why does the student rinse the residue? Rinse, okay. Yes, remove impurities. Uh. So this one, you filter, next step is filter. To remove the excess, and then you have the MgCl2. Okay, uh, then you put on the evaporating dish, heat up until saturation point. Very good. So this is heat until saturation point or until saturated, acceptable. So the keyword is saturated, heat until saturation point. Okay. Uh, and then crystals are formed. Okay, so then eh, very good. So then next one will be uh, put on the filter paper and then eh, just uh, rinse and dry. Okay, so back to this thing. Why does the student add, add excess? Uh, if you add excess, is to ensure the other one is fully reacted. So you say to ensure all HCl is completely reacted. Okay, why does the, when you read something, it's just to remove impurities. So to remove impurities. Okay, standard. Uh, then if they ask, uh, how do you, how, how would student obtain pure crystals from this like magnesium chloride? Okay, pure crystals from magnesium chloride uh, from the filtrate. Okay, so which means like from here, la, uh, from here, this liquid here to crystals. Okay, so this three step. Okay, so this three step, you always start with heat up in the evaporating dish. Let me cross check the answer. See, yeah. From the filtrate. So filtrate is here. You already have it here. So don't need to filter already. Okay, so you start from here. So you can say uh, heat up, heat up, filtrate until saturation point. Uh, that's the keyword, saturation point, which means, eh? Okay. Mm, yes, evaporating dish, uh, do not use Petri dish. Some of you mentioned Petri dish, a bit funny. Okay, uh, then eh, next, left to cool, left to cool at room temperature. Okay, and crystals are formed. So when the crystals are formed, next step, you say that uh, rinse with uh, distilled water. So IG accept water, la, but I think some of the teachers are more specific. So rinse with distilled water and dry between filter papers. You can say dry with oven or dry between filter papers. Mm. You can just write dry or dry, it's all the same. You can say just write dry, la. dry between Okay, three marks, got it. So there's a part of preparation of soluble salt. So I would recommend you to remember the steps. Ah. So, okay, so I see some of your answers are pretty good. Just need to be a bit more, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. So just a bit more accurate with your answers, okay? Uh, especially your school teachers, ah, they're a bit more, uh, no, I would say slightly more annoying. Ah, so. <laughs> So if you, if whatever they, they taught you before, you need to write it down. 
Some are okay, some they open. Oh, yeah, it's the same answer. Some are a bit more strict. So the ones that are strict, you know, like who's our teachers are more strict, you know. So you just follow their style, or at least for school exam. Uh. Even the marking scheme also is uh, the same. Just write the same thing. Okay, once you're done, please let me know. Oh, saturation point is like this. Okay, this one I left a bit, uh, eh? so you record. Oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. So we're writing. So saturated point is so you put into the I draw here on top here. So this is the this is the our uh, MgCl two, okay. So we heat up there, which means all the water are gone. It becomes one third. It becomes very concentrated. All the water are gone, evaporated. So it becomes like very very concentrated MgCl two liquid. You know, like sugar. You know, after sugar, you heat up the sugar. You heat up sugar, so it becomes like a bit caramel. Uh, that's saturated point okay so if this uh like, you know how they make the the solid sugar uh, all this eh? or become candy eh? so you leave it to cool and eh? uh, then the crystals will start to form uh, so only a saturate after the saturation point then it form crystals so this is where we call it the the saturation point or it becomes saturated very cow like, like that. saturation saturation is the water flown away Okay, so it becomes saturated. Of course, concentration concentration is, you know, uh, let's say how much you put in. The water is still there. Okay. Okay. Nah, okay. Good. Good question. Nah. Okay. To be more specific, concentration is that you can add different amount of water. Okay. So if this is a salute or whatever they want to dissolve. Okay. Same amount. So you add less water more on uh, this one more add more and more okay so the one with the most water will be the least concentrated uh? this is the this is the highest concentration this concentration based on the water versus the the salute okay uh, if it's saturation uh, saturated uh, we throw away the water that's all here and then we just evaporate it uh, evaporate the water so it becomes saturation the water goes away one is add the water so that you can have a different ratio and then saturated you just remove the water you don't actually have a measurement for saturated concentration you get a measurement like two mole per dm cube and stuff but saturation and eh, we just like i got, I got guess guess only ah, okay here the water water gone so it's considered saturated okay one more try okay e1 definition later like e2 Hey guys, can you try E2? So then eh, let's look at this. So uh, silver chloride, AgCl is insoluble. So there are a few insoluble. I would say AgCl is a popular one. And then there's like barium sulfate. So all these are the popular insoluble salt in your syllabus. So BaSO4, PbSO4. Uh, and then you have this. Of course, AgCl is one of it. Uh, PBCL2 is also one of it. Okay, so these are the popular insoluble salt that you see a lot. Okay, uh, made from precipitation. If they say what is the reaction, so you say precipitation is a reaction to produce insoluble salt. Okay, because uh, between barium chloride and a suitable salt solution, what is the term precipitate? So you can say an insoluble, an insoluble solid form from two soluble salt solution okay which contains the metal ions i recommend to write longer for this metal ions and the n ions okay so precipitate uh, so the keyword is just insoluble okay insoluble solid Precipitate uh, does not dissolve in water. Okay, then the uh, next uh, name a uh, suitable silver for this. So remember, eh, whenever to produce a, a precipitate to produce an insoluble salt. Okay, uh, recap here. Uh, there's a bit of empty space here. Okay, so I uh, recap. Eh, so to prepare insoluble salt, okay, you need to have two soluble salt solution uh, so you have not studied this and uh, please revise eh? or oh, later later let's go back to the top okay two soluble salt solution 
So to prepare insoluble salt, you have two soluble salt solution. So which means things that is always soluble, something with nitrate plus K or Na something. I highly recommend this. So both are always soluble. Something stick with nitrate, confirm soluble. And then something stick with K and Na, confirm soluble. Okay. So in this case, if you want to prepare like the top one just now, AgCl, this is an insoluble salt. What do you do? You just stick with AgNO3 plus KCl. And then you will swap partner, Ag and Cl, becomes AgCl plus KNO3. Okay, easy as that. If they want to prepare uh, PbSO4, what do you do? So you just take the Pb and the nitrate because this is soluble salt solution. Okay, and then the K2SO4. Uh, so then uh, the Pb and SO4 stick together, PbSO4 plus KNO3. Like that, uh. Okay, so that's how you prepare insoluble salt. Insoluble salt. Like that. Yeah, so this process is called precipitation. Okay, precipitation. Very seldom you see in your syllabus, in your IGs, they call it double decomposition. I would say very seldom. Most of the time you see it as uh, precipitation. Okay, I give you some time to write this down. Then we go back to the top. So name a suitable silver. So silver nitrate. Oh, okay. Uh, so if they say name, I would recommend you to write silver nitrate like this. Okay, both acceptable. Then I, so they ask you to fill in the equation. Easy as that. So they already give you the barium correct. You need to produce AgCl. Okay. So just put Ag something. So Ag nitrate is the best. Okay, so the same thing applies. The front and back, change partners, stick together. AgCl. And then you have the next one will be barium nitrate. Okay. Uh, then they balance it all. Okay, balance it all. Like that. So three marks, eh? one mark for this. And then two marks for this. So two marks, one is for the, 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 the stuff inside. Okay. I would say the reactants and product that is correct. Okay, another one is the, the balancing. So they want you to balance it. So make sure I observe the marks. Make sure it's balanced. Ah. So all chemistry equation is balanced. If it's not balanced, it's considered wrong. So you know how they're going to ask. Ah. So the whole point of discussing is that you know how they ask. I'm sure in the, in the class, when we are doing attending lessons, they already understand what is it about. But now when we discuss past, you know how they're going to ask. So you need to learn how you're going to answer. So it's not too difficult. Okay.